So in the previous video, we have seen a simple example of paging. We have seen what what is paging. Now in this video, we are going to see some basic formulas which we uh, will use in paging because with the help of these formulas, uh, applying, uh, you know, it will be very easy for us to apply them if you remember some of them, right? But uh, still, I prefer that you mm. instead of remembering the formulas, it will be better if you can derive the formulas. Okay. So assume this is the main memory. This is the main memory. See, I also don't remember the formulas. I just try to drive them if I require them. So this is the main memory, or you can say it is a physical address space. And assuming that we have a process, this is representing a process. This is representing a process, or you can say virtual address space or logical address space. Assuming that the physical address space is of capital M words okay so you can uh, assume anything it is of capital M words in the same way the virtual address space is of capital L words physical address space is of capital M words and virtual address space is of capital L words and assuming that we have the page of size P so we can say the page size page size is P words that means we are going to divide this process into pages and the size of every page will be of P words the size of this page will be of P words in the same way if we discuss about the frame size and frame size is also equal to the page size and uh, that can also be given by P words that can also be given by P words okay so uh, right so what happens is frame size frame size is equal to the page size frame size is equal to the page size so if I ask you what is the number of pages number of pages the number of pages will be capital L words divided by P words or you can say it is capital L by P in the same way if I ask you what is the number of frames the number of frames will be equal to capital M divided by P words so which is equal to M divided by P okay so we can also directly find the uh, you know physical address the size of physical address or you can say the number of bits required in the physical address so number of bits required in the physical address will be if we have M words so it is log M with base to ceiling value physical address will be of log m with base to ceiling value and assuming that it is of small m bits right so that is capital m and we have small m so it is of small m bits in the same way if i ask you what is the size of virtual address then you can say virtual address will be log capital l base 2 and ceiling value of this assuming that that is equal to small l bits okay that means the entire virtual address this is your entire virtual address this is your entire virtual address okay in the same way this will be your entire physical address this will be your entire physical address and this complete physical address will be of m bits this will be of m bits in the same way this complete virtual address will be of l bits will be of l bits now we know the page size if I ask you what is a page offset page offset page offset then page offset will be log capital P base to ceiling value and assume it is small p bits small p bits that means this actual virtual address will be divided into two two parts number one is the page offset and second one will be the page number second one will the page number in the same way this physical address will be divided into two parts number one is frame offset frame offset and second one will be the frame number second one will be the frame number frame offset and frame number now you can see here we got that page offset is of p bits therefore this page offset here to here it will be of p bits in the same way the frame offset from here to here it will be of small p bits and the page number will be L minus P bits the page number from here to here will be L minus P bits in the same way the frame number from here to here will be M minus P bits M minus 
pay bits okay so generally what happens is again as i told you the processor is going to give you a request for a specific uh, byte in the uh, in the virtual address space then we are going to take that request the frame offset will not change frame offset will remain same in both the cases the only thing which will change is the page number so uh, for that that thing will be stored in the case of in in page table so this is the page table page table and page table will be containing one entry for every page for example this is an entry for this page this is an entry for this page it will be containing one entry for every page and it is going to store frame number frame number so if i ask you what is a page table size page table size then page table size is number of entries number of entries multiplied by entry size multiplied by entry size and you can see what are the number of entries number of entries will be uh, capital l by p multiplied by the entry size which is a frame number which is equal to m minus p bits m minus p bits so it is uh, p this here it is here we are having the capital p which is uh, the page size this is capital l which is a logical address space size this is small m minus small p bits which is small m is a number of bits required in the uh, physical address space and number of small p means number of bits required in the uh, page offset so it is l minus p multiplied by m minus p bits okay now if in some cases if i just tell you that uh, you can i can directly tell you that if if a physical address is of small p bits then what is then what is the size of physical address space what is phys the size of physical address space then it will be 2 raised to power p bits so 2 raised to power p words okay in the same way if i say if the virtual address is of uh, small l bits then what is the size of virtual address space then it is 2 raised to power l words then it is 2 raised to power l words in the same way if i tell you that the page size page size is or you can say the page offset sorry it's i'm so sorry if i say that the page offset is of um, small p bits small p bits then what are the number of pages number of pages the number of pages will be 2 raised to power uh, the page number required will be l minus p so 2 raised to power l minus p uh, pages in the same way if i ask you what is the number of frames the number of frames can be written by 2 raised to power uh, m minus p 2 raised to power m minus p frames right so you can use these values you can use these values to you know to f uh, solve the problems which are related to the paging but i'll still prefer that you do not uh, don't use these values don't uh, remember these values but try to uh, you know uh, uh, derive these values okay so let us take few more examples of paging i'll take one example of each type and uh, I'll, I'll make a table of that and you try to uh, solve uh, that complete table by by this by solving this complete table you'll be able to solve every question related to the paging 